What are your thoughts on Ivan Ahibwa? 22. Enthusiastic striker. Comes deep to get the ball. Plays no through balls. Tries tricks. Tries tricks? I don't know if I've seen that. Runs with ball often. Decent acceleration and pace. Really good balance. Composed, finishing, first touch. Passing could use some work. Off the ball, amazing. Teamwork, work rate. Valued at 60 million is going to want, you know, good wages. Let's look at his history here. Picked up by Arsenal from, uh, yeah, Ab in Denmark for 10 and three quarters million euros. They immediately loaned him out to Atletico Pamplona in the Spanish second division. And then they loaned him to Club Bruges. And then they sold him. That's a pretty good investment. Sold him for, what is that? More than three times what they paid for him to Eintracht Frankfurt, 38 and a half million. I feel like he's on the rise. And my friends, he has a 46 million euro minimum release clause. He's worth 60 million. This seems like a good deal. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends, welcome in. Um, but the, obviously the issue is we only have 23 million in the transfer budget. And we can only get up to 29 million. So do we, do we like ask the board to intervene? Like, hey, we've got money, right? Now that might mean we might have to sell somebody. He, he only knows one spot. You could theoretically learn like inside forward over on the right side or a winger on the right side. I just, you know, I, I've, I've been looking, like, I think we're going to sell. And maybe that's what we do. We sell, well, would that really help us here? Bond, we get 100%. That wouldn't, that wouldn't get us to 46. But I think we're going to sell Bond for about hopefully 10 million. Maybe we sell Kluge. Like, it's like, how do I raise enough capital to, to get rid of this guy? Or, or to, to sign this guy and pay the buyout clause is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so do we ask the board to intervene and be like, hey, this is a really important transfer. Can you negotiate it? Something like that. So I, I have gone, uh, I, let's see, did we finish scouting him or do we still have a little bit left to do? No, we just finished scouting him. Fairly blinkered when it, uh, you can't see this because this is down here behind my head. Fairly blinkered when it comes to picking out a pass and rarely sees anything other than what's in front of him. His vision's a nine. Uh, that's okay. Just score a bunch of goals, right? Like he's he's done all right with goal scoring. Now, you know, to be fair, that's you know in the Spanish second division and Belgian Pro League A. But he scored nine in the Bundesliga. You know, in twenty one starts, all starts. Could be interesting. So I've, I, I'm looking for center backs and strikers, and I tend to go towards the players that aren't 29 because at this age, right, this guy is going to – well, theoretically, he's going to be more expensive, but we're not going to be able to keep him as long because he's going to start falling off, in my opinion. Um, I just thought that was kind of interesting. I was like, huh, we have a non-EU spot open. He's playing really well. How do we – how do we how do we get him here? <laughs> I'll trade you Gabriel Bond and 30 million. <laughs> that I don't have. 30 million in the future? Mm. Anyway, uh I'm I'm not to our need. We're, we're playing Sampdoria in tomorrow, so just thought I'd show that to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Alright, I, I can't figure out a way currently like we're going to keep an eye on him but i don't think there's a way right now with the transfer budget and like selling players it's you know i don't think we're going to solve that problem now and he's not the only one we're interested in we might try the loan route because i've had some comments recently like hey why don't you loan right but like that's an option i would just rather buy but you are you're right that like you could pay somebody a hundred thousand a week in wages on the loan which is like what 5.2 million roughly throughout for a whole season and not have to pay the forty million to get them. So you know, I just I just like them on my team. Another massive game today. Um, everybody in front of us has not played except for Juventus. 
And, of course, they beat Brescia. So they're running away with the league this season. A win here and a loss by Lazio would help us reclaim fourth. But at the end of the day, I mean, look at this. If they win, they probably hop us. And if we could end up in seventh here. And Inter is not far behind. Milan having a shocking. I hope Milan's season continues going the way it is. So that we can hopefully win the Coppa Italia. I did have a word with Lothar. And it's because I, I, I literally, I think three games in a row had the, you're not doing good enough. I'm going to have to drop you. And he's like, I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. Well, he's not gotten better. So this time I tried, I'm going to give him one last start. This time I tried, hey, I can't remember what the exact phrase was. It was like, I believe in you. You know, you've made some mistakes, but we need you to get better. And I believe in you was essentially the gist of it. And he's like, I really appreciate it. So let's see how it goes. I, I'd also don't, no, if I pointed out, we started Granite to Mary against Roma. He had a 7.4. We brought Gabrielle back for this one, but pretty excited. And then, obviously, um, we're sitting Grandi for this one to try and develop that wing-back partnership. Maybe they'll start doing this, you know, crossing it back and forth to each other. You pick up where you left off, boys. Yes, you beat Roma. Now let's go beat Sampdoria. Sampdoria. Um, this is what we're paid to do. I guess we'll find out. No comment. Of course, they'll they'll change managers like two weeks before the the Coppa Italia final, and it'll be like, you know, Jose Mourinho or something that comes in. It's like, oh, I I want the manager to continue to struggle. Let him continue to struggle. Paul thought we were doing too much quickness training. It's like, Paul, relax. Okay, early yellow. How you doing? How you doing? Wait a minute. Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to tightly mark that guy. And this one. He's already on the yellow. We're going to close down these. And then, let's see. The next outlet would be the midfielders, right? He looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. He looks slightly better with the ball at his feet. We're going to try that. See if we can... And maybe... Yeah. Close that one down. See if we can, you know, force them to just to hoof it. That's my thinking there. Now, we only have, you know, we, it might be more effective if we had the 4 2 3 1 to help cover all that, but you know, details, it's fine. We've had more shots and more shots on target. Colin Bonnie, second corner of the game. Ha! Surge, man. Surge. Okay. Better, on frame, got it over the wall. You know, I think the last time we saw Surge uh, free kick, it was straight into the wall, so progress. Okay, he picks this one up. He picks this one up. He doinks it off someone's face. It's, it's not what we're going for, Surge. Okay, maybe not. Ibrahim, I'm really excited about this kid. I know he's, you know, we just want to avoid a tight muscle in this game. Can he go 75 minutes without a tight muscle? That'll be success if it happens. Because we do have the football pool game coming up. Colmani just tapped that in there. Ibrahim gets the assist. Colmani might have tied the record with that. Or he might be one shy. He's also, I'm getting updates that he is working towards becoming our all-time uh, appearance leader. That was lovely. I enjoyed that very much. Thank you. So that's pretty exciting. We'll have to see after the game. Again, I can't remember if it was if he was one or two away. I don't. He's definitely not broken the record in league play. So uh, from a goal scoring standpoint, in case you're like, what are you talking about? Because I can't remember with my mouth and my brain working at the same time if I just said that. We have Bosch this. Ten shots to two. Keep it up. Thought about complacency. But we're just going to be positive. Surge on 6.3. Got to watch that. Messina we had to send home he is the flu. And it was like, it'd be 1 to 10 days. So it turns out it's 8 days once he actually went home. So, lots great. Um, there was an update there. I just missed it. It said something like... It said something... Wait, where's the updates? Oh, God. It said something like, it looks like they're trying to pass it to their center backs more often, which is like, aha. Yes. Hmm. 
Could bring in Lorenzo. Maybe put him up top or put Lothar up top. Maybe we do that. Here, let, let's confirm our changes. And then, because we do have the, the Liverpool game coming up. So, uh, where is he? Lorenzo come in. Lothar go up top. He is more a natural attacking forward than Lorenzo. Given opportunities on a 6.5, which, based on the recent results, is a stellar game for him, which is quite tragic to verbalize that. But take Surge off. So he's a little... Because he, Surge does seem to, seem to wear down a little bit faster than Colombani does from a, a physical condition standpoint. Um, let's get creative, boys. Oh, pressured. Oh, picked up a yellow. Oh, it's a highlight. We've created two clear cut chances and three half chances, and we have one goal for it. Lovely. That was good. Oh, that was. That was Ibrahim esque. Oh, look at the. Like that was enjoyable. Oh, and now we're gonna take you off. We're gonna bring on Passoni, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take Ibrahim off, and we're bringing on Paul. We get two goal lead. We got the Liverpool match coming up. That was an unbelievable blast. Twenty shots to five, twelve on target to four. My friends, that was a smashing. Very pleased, boys and girls. Very pleased. Holy guacamole. Uh why well, I, I always like to do the goal because I don't want to go, go look at the stats. I just yeah, just skip that. I mean I had six key passes, so I guess I could say your passing was a joy, yes. You're passing with joy, but really what I want to tell you, De Silva, is the laser beam you cannoned into the goal was quite good. You know, a bit of an improvement. Look at that. Last five games, a 6.2. Not good enough. So he's going to go to the bench. We'll see how he how he responds to that. Okay, we don't need all of you here. So Kluga, you're going to get dropped. We got Brogi, Bon, Lothar. Uh, let's bring on... Uh, no, not Pasani. We got Brogi, so we'll bring on uh, Granite Ameri to cover center back for us. That's how they go. <sighs> Big game in four days, people. A little bit better. We had that dip, but maybe, like I talked about a couple episodes ago, maybe that was the dip, and we're past the dip, and, you know, we can get back to normal. I just want to see if we can... Oh, okay. It's, it's not playing. Well, when, I, when we get to the Liverpool game, we'll update the table. I was hoping there was more games today. Yeah. This is how the games ended up. Inter beating Empoli. Roma losing 4-0 to Spal. Atalanta beating Udinese 2-0. Lazio smashing Fiorentina 6-2. So we find ourselves right back in fifth. But at least Roma lost. But Inter's now catching up. But we get, we've got a four-point gap to sixth place. And a two-point gap to the to the Champions League spot, so we're still in the running. <sighs> I just love little things like this. I don't usually pay attention to the social media, but wow, De Silva, just wow. That's That was me. That's my, uh, what is that, my burner account, my burner Twitter account, Marta P Pierini. Yeah, it's me on the sideline. What a laser beam. This is interesting. I, we, we apparently did a set piece analysis, and I don't honestly can tell you if we do this every single time, but not a single one of their six corners from the left has been delivered to the far post. Not a single one of their ten corners from the right has been delivered to the far post. So they never, at least in in recent set piece history, delivered to the far post. Four out of the six corners on the left have been delivered to the middle of the penalty area, so we need to clog that up. They almost never take short corners, failing to do so even once from 16 potential situations. Six of ten corners to the right have been delivered to the middle. Four of ten have been to the near post. So what I've done, I never, ever do this, but I've adapted our right side to have a near post, and I took the far post and put them up here in the, the going back in the middle of the box. And on the left side, I kept the near post and did the same thing. Because they never deliver to the far post. Right? Is what it says. 
middle of the penalty or from from the right middle middle of the penalty or to the near post we cover the near post and on the left not a single have been delivered with the far post not a single have been delivered with the far post on the right so take the person standing on the right now do we all <laughs> do we think do we think that's accurate or are we going to get burned highest pass combination this guy pretty good oh we're going to see angelini it just i just i just mm. And then Harvey Elliott, who has turned out to be quite good, you could say. Let's just look here. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't sell him to Liverpool. We sold him to Arsenal. Silly me. You know, they both were red. 25 starts, 4 goals, 5 assists on a 7-1-7. He's boshing the Premier League. Can we buy him back? Uh, oh, shoot. I was going to look at the just look at their players. If I can figure out how to do that, that'd be fantastic. They're buying him as a DM. Silly Arsenal. Why are you playing him as a DM? Because you got that guy. They're playing a 4 3 3. Interesting. Who's the manager? Ryan Garay. Interesting. Actual Arsenal under-23 manager, assistant, then manager in the game. I don't know if you can see this. Then he becomes a coach, and then the caretaker manager, and now always oh, the interim. He's the interim. He's not the actual manager, but that's interesting. I like to see a guy work up through the ranks, but it's like literally there right now. That's kind of cool. <sighs> Let's keep going. I... I hope 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 i don't i don't really have hope right now with, with this game but you never know you never know this is always good to see liverpool fans have traveled 1380 kilometers i don't even know how far that is. I, I can i get it on the map it makes sense the region the fans are fe uh fearing for the worst for this match with their team because several underdogs but hoping their team can keep the score respectable thanks everybody thanks for the belief i mean it's probably true but we have three at the back, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's helpful. And we've adjusted for the first time in my career, we've adjusted the corner setup. I probably should have done a defending corners training. I didn't do that. You know, I just read the report and went, okay, we'll just change it. It'll be fine. You guys can pick it up. That's fine. I mean, it's massive that we got this far, right? Arsenal beats Benfica 5-0. PSG beats Dortmund 2-1. Barcelona draws with Bayern. Man United loses to Salzburg. Frankfurt beating Napoli 1-0. Juventus draws with Real Hispales. Hispales? Is that how you say it? <sighs> say it with confidence, GHG. We're, 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 I just, I can't trust Lothar right now. He's not in good form. I want to, but I don't. So we shall not. Um, we will take a look at their squad. We are going to do extended highlights. Jao Felix. I don't recognize this guy. He has an actual photo. Pick up where you left off. It's not saying I expect to win, right? We are underdogs, right? But it's like, hey, we have been playing well, so keep on playing well. Let's see how bad the back line is. Amazing. Cameron Shrimpton. Pretty darn good. Paranich. Can't dribble, but, I mean, in comparison, right? Yeah, they're all, they're all pretty good. Oh, he has a 20 on passing. We're going to hope he doesn't get the ball. We're going to tightly mark him. Oh, they're so good. Oh, dearie me. I think this is going to be a massacre, friends. Let me know. Go ahead and pause right after this. What do you think the score is going to be in this game? Oh, dear.
Oh dear, that hurt to look at. Oh dear, I could I could tell why the assistant manager recommended we play defensive and why the fans don't think we're going to get anything out of this game. You know, they they are right like much larger budget, bigger team. You know, we are a perennial top four, five, six Serie A team, but we're playing against a squad stacked with talent that has all the money because they're in the Premier League. So, as you do, you know. Jao Felix plays it up to Torres. Okay, we're there. We're there. We're, okay. Force it back to the guy with 20 passing. Kasapa with a pretty unnecessary dive to collect the ball there. So, oh, 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 we actually maintained possession. We're going to celebrate the little things, I think, of this game, like maintaining possession and then losing it, right? Like, but, but we had the possession. We're up to 50-50 in the first 10 minutes. That's actually not horrific. Torres is now on the left side. Or is there two Torreses? He was just on the right side. Oh, dear. Oh, it's off the post. Don't just panic clear that. Thank you. He actually took a touch there. It looked like he was going to do something with it. Da, Silva. Don't get excited. It's a love of it. It's a... I didn't, I didn't think we were going to score. I mean, what's he do here? He just goes for a dribble. They just... What is this guy doing? He, he, I guess, goes to Mark Loose, but he opens up the door. He, like, unlocked it and let, like, come on, come on down. Is it bad that... Hmm... <laughs> That was pretty simple. Like that wasn't even a like a cannon shot like you had in the other game, right? That was that was like a little waltz down and they opened up the gates and let him in type deal. Kasapa punches away. Is it enough? It's in the mixer. Oh, Rodriguez skims the outside of the post there. Or maybe it didn't, maybe but it was close. They've had the clear cut chance and the half chance. We've got the goal. De Silva pings it in. Ibrahim! Oh, the angle made that look like it was a this kind of a shot rather than a lofted shot. I was like, oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me. Still no chances for us, but that's okay. Lorenzo. Oh, he does the classic overrun it. Oh, try as I can say. Try as I can say. Oh, dear. Missed tackle, but he comes back. Oh, I thought there was going to be a penalty. What effort by Oriole. Misses the tackle, tracks back while the guy is dilly-dallying in our box. Surge! Oh. But. Wins that tackle without giving up a penalty. I was I was certain that was going to be a penalty highlight. Just in my brain. Maybe, is it, is, it's, it's, that, it's that football manager trauma we talked about recently. It's like, once you see it happen like a couple games in a season, you're like, oh, here it comes again, here it comes again, here it comes again. It's like just going through your brain over and over. I'm going to say that. We're going to give up a penalty. <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those things you're like, Ugh! and then it doesn't happen. It's such a, such a surprise. Hey, there's the guy we're supposed to be tightly marking. Yep, that's the one. The one with the 20 passing. But don't worry, he passed to the guy with the 17, 18, 19 passing, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, dear. That's fine. I... I I'm so I can't wait to see what score lines you thought it was gonna be before we get. They're trying to play out from the back. I'm tempted to say we should close down and tightly mark, but mm, I don't know about that. That was actually intentional. I thought he was just hoofing it clear. Colin Bonnie in on goal. Oh, is that a Strauss? Did that count as a show? I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't tell if we already had four or if it was it already updated. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, how does he run? What a job by the keeper. We'll give the keeper all the credit there. I can't believe that. He was in one of one with the keeper. And they Gretchy just punts it out. We are holding our own thus far, people. 58% possession. Loose is on the yellow and on a 6.5, which makes you a buzz nervous. A fuzz. A severe drawing of Man City. Let's look. Is he... Okay. He's not banned for the next match. I'm happy. Keep it up. We're going to be positive. I, I thought about the complacency, but... Uh, we're trying to play out from the back. It keeps saying that, but I feel like that's going to expose us. 
I, I don't like it would be one thing if like their midfielders weren't very good or their attacking midfielders weren't very good but I feel like if we if we push up and we try to tightly mark the guys on the back of the line so that they can't play out of the back they're just going to hoof it to somebody else who's really good and we don't have enough like if we we're playing a 4-2-3-1 we still wouldn't really have enough players to mark everybody right like striker marks one of these two winger marks one of these two i guess the attacking mid marks the other one and then the two midfielders come up but then you know then you got a gap to the back line i would say we've got seven shots with three on target they've had six shots with none on target we're even on chances across the board we got 59 percent possession we're at home i'm not expecting anything out of this game you can keep saying they're playing out of the back all you want that's fine oh and into the danger zone past the keeper but Nobody was making, I mean, we might have been making the run there, but, you know, they were well positioned. And that was poor. Oh, no. Oh, it comes back. You, Oreo did it, and now maybe So's done it. Now, it was his fault. It was his errant pass, and Serge Karate kicks that out. But it was his errant pass, but he got back to essentially save the day there. So, love the effort. Uh-oh. A twisted knee. He's already not playing well. So he's coming off. I guess Lothar can come off. Do you think... He, he's in a horrible run of form. And we've had a, we had a pick-me-up kind of talk. And he was on the bench today. Do you think he reacts... What do you think of the comments? Let me know. Do you think right now Lothar is going to react and have – what rating do you think he's going to get? Whether he scores a goal or not doesn't – like, I'm not concerned about it. But, you know, what what rating is he going to get? Because he's going to have 30 minutes to get a rating. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Immediate impact is chasing down the goalkeeper. Ooh. Jao Felix had come really deep as the attacking mid to collect that ball. And now they're scooting past our midfield. Oh, that's offside, isn't it? Yep. Yep. I'm just going to demand more, but it's almost like I just don't want to risk. I don't want to risk frustrating anybody. Like, they're playing well. Surge was there. Great job by Hanson. An immediate throw out. Wow. Quick distribution. They're not playing out of the back anymore. Good tackle, not a penalty, never a penalty. It's three players chasing one. Probably not the best defensive structure, but you know. <laughs> oh, look at the space. Oh, oh, he's offside. Yes. Come on. They've had three clear cut chances now. Point that out as well. Wee boy. All right, here we go. They're on the left, our left. They never go far post. Is that far post? Is this far post? Or or would it be more of an in swinger to like right here? What is the what is the area that counts as far post? That was six yard box. That wasn't the middle. Hmm. Have they adapted? Lothar collects. Gets on his bike. He's being chased by a man in red boots like De Silva. Oh, he, j he just gets right past him. That's got to help the rating. Loses possession. Lorenzo does as well. Okay. I feel like they're going to score. They've had too many chances. They're too good. Vittorini. Vittorini. Oh, God. Casapa did well enough just to get in front of that, I think. Personally. All right, let's watch again. This is from the left. We don't have anybody in the far post. You can see it back there. Nobody hanging out on the far post. Just pointing that out. I guess that's middle. I, I don't know. He's offside. We're playing well. Lothar's apprehensive. Come on, son. They've made some changes. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of depressing really when they're like oh yeah like you know like uh 
I guess in Premier League now, like when Man City goes to their bench, it's like, oh, that, that their second team could probably get top seven by themselves, right? Like, goodness gracious. Oh, man. I don't see an impact sub. Like, we may take one of the wingbacks off and bring on Grandi, maybe? Uh, just as, like, a time-wasting sub? I don't think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. We're gonna roll the dice. The squad's playing. Don't. Oh, Twenty seconds left. The squad's playing well. Don't want to disrupt the rhythms. Thought that felt a little risky. Oh no. Oh, tactical foul. Oh my goodness. We have gotten away with that. Gotten away with it. We played well, but like. I, I wish I could explain to you wearing my Liverpool shirt <laughs> how absolutely stunned I am. Ease past Liverpool? I don't... I think that's a little bombastic from the media. I think that's a little bombastic. I'm going to save. Okay. We've, we've double saved. I cannot believe that. I mean, it's just a goal, but if we could nick a goal at Anfield, it would be stunning. And Lothar ends with a 6.6. .6. I'm curious to see what you all guessed. That's actually not half bad. Oh, this is bad. That's really not good, but... Um, Torino, Milan, Pisa, Bari. I think we're going to do just an extended highlights, just Liverpool. And see what happens for the next episode. We've got a bunch of games to play. Um, depending on what happens, I, I'm not even going to look to see when the next round will be. Because we're not going to count our chickens before they hatch there, right? We've been burned before in the Champions League knockout round, right? Um, so... Somebody gets someplace in here, but we've got the Copa Italia final, which right now, if they keep their manager, they are in ninth. Let's look at their form currently. Kind of, I was going to say hit or miss, mostly missing right now, which is good. They they also, this is good, have some Europa League going on to keep them busy. And we play them in between that, so that's good. Um, unless we also have a game that, no, we, okay, because the Europa League stuff is here. So, that's good. Um, we'll bring you back next time, my friends. Again, as a reminder, here's we are. Here's here's we are. Here's where we are at the table. Two points from top four. But again, looking at the run of games, I really wish it would just automatically hop down. I just I don't want to see the beginning of the season. Why would I want to see the beginning of the season? I want to see where I'm at right now. Um, we play 11th, 9th, 15th, 18th in our next four games. Then 10th. 13th, 16th. Then it gets a little more difficult. Lazio in fourth, Genoa, Juventus, Inter, and Empoli. But this was the tough sled, right? And I I just realized, I just realized we get the seven points. That's worth a like. See you next time. Let's go.